Hey, and welcome to what will be a new series on our channel. We are going to be doing a how-to series where we show you how to build and build stuff that otherwise is quite hard to pick up by yourself. So in this one we are going to be doing a tutorial on all of the different types of rotor turret including small grid aiming manually using cameras, small grid, sorry, big grid aiming using a designator turret so it can fire up stuff by itself, then small grid for both of those as well, and then Diddy is doing his own segment where he shows us how to make a gyroscope controlled rotor turret. So, on to the first one. Here we have a rotor turret. It has got a rotor turret a turret, no not rotor turret, a rotor that spins it left and right at the bottom, it then has a rotor here that spins it up and down. And then obviously you've got your two missile turret, missile launchers, and then a camera. To make it work you obviously need power, you also need a script block, a programmable block with the um, with WIPS mouse aimed rotor turret script in it running. And you also need a cockpit so you can move it around and then if you want to you can use a camera so you can see where you're shooting. And I would prefer it if my assistant Diddy did not park the ship I am demonstrating on shooting at right above me. So as you can see I've got the in the bottom I've got the missile turret so I can shoot at it so I am going to take a shot at here. I can fire anywhere as long as it's within the limits of this. So as you can see, I can't fire any further up because I've set limits. Otherwise it goes haywire and bad things happen. Anyway, so that's the demonstration. Now on to building it. Thanks for that, Diddy. Right, to build this you will need rocket launchers, you're obviously going to need your rotors, and some blocks, various blocks to help do it. I'm not going to destroy the rotors because they get complicated and you need to rename them. Right, so you're going to start at the bottom here, and you're going to place a rotor uh, just a normal rotor pointing up yes you're going to start with a rotor pointing up and you're going to want to set the limits for this the rotor displacement to the highest so it's pointing up as much as possible then you're going to place a rotor next to this on top of it pointing away this one needs the lowest rotor displacement. Then you need to place your rocket launchers, one there, get a block, place the block here, place your other missile launcher onto the side of that. You now have your turret built. You can also put a camera on the top I'm only going to show you how to do how to build the actual turret once, but then I'm going to show you how to put the script in it for the designator one as well. So you have your turret built, you're now thinking, what on earth do I do? So you need to place down a programmable block, and if you're wondering how to get scripts in it, you click edit, browse scripts, and all your scripts that you have downloaded from the workshop will be here. You will need the Mart Whips mouse aimed rotor turret script, double click it, it will appear in here, don't change any of it, click OK, and now you need to make name your rotors. The, if you're on the main grid, the rotor that is in orange, you need to make name elevation. That one needs to be named Elevation. The other one needs to be made, named Azimuth. So it's a -z -e -m -m -m. That's Azimuth. 
and then you need a yeah, basically you need to put the cockpit, which you're going to control it from, the both rocket launchers, both rotors, and that's it. You need to go over here, make a group called Mart Space One, all in caps. Click save, and now you should be able to go into the control seat. And why is it not working? Uh, what have I done wrong? Got azimuth and elevation. How can I spell, spell elevation? Right. Probably not. No, I spelled elevation wrong. You do need to make sure you get these right, otherwise it doesn't work. And it's still not working. Why is it not working? Why is it not working? Ah, it works. Right. Um, you need to have the camera. So now I can move this round. Oh, and I haven't set any limits on this rotor, so I can move this round 180 degrees. And I can shoot wherever I want using the missile turret. And that is my assistant, Diddy. Hello. Right, so this is the mouse-aimed rotor turret for custom controlling, so you control this using mouse movement. We're next going to move on, stop messing with that, did he? We're next going to move on to one with a designator. Follow the first tutorial exactly with the turret and everything, but instead of putting a camera on the front, place down any vanilla uh, turret and go into your control seat, chosen control seat, and get a group called Turret Group 1 with a designator, which is the turret that you're going to control. It needs to have these, uh, I don't know what they are. Uh, yeah, it needs to have the apostrophe things, I don't know, on either side. Designator, same as usual, azimuth and elevation, but it need they need to have that on it. And instead of putting the cockpit in, you put the designator in. And in the programmable block, you're going to need a different script. You're going to need Whip's Turret AI Slaving script. And that should work. And now if Diddy gets out of my thing... Now, Diddy. As you can see, I am controlling this. What have I just shot? The ground. And I can shoot this wherever I want. For example, I will shoot my previous previous demonstration. Oh, come on. As you can see, it has quite a lot of power. I can fire this where... Ah, oh, no, reloading. Wherever I want. But there is a weakness. I can't shoot that way. Otherwise, I shoot the rotor. So, uh... Ah yes, Diddy has very helpfully set up something for me to shoot at. As you can see, it is quickly downed that dropship. Come on, start reloading. Right, now moving on to the small grid. Exactly the same with naming the, rot the rotors and everything. The bottom one is named um, Azimuth. And the one that moves it up and down is, is named Elevation. You need a camera, but as it's small grid, I've used these Gatling. This one has less rotation and is not quite as powerful because when I made it, I, I failed, basically. And I put it into the ground. Big grid and small grid, the building of it is exactly the same. Mess around with how with how you build your turrets for everything as much as you like. Designators work on small grid, big grid, and you can have loads and loads of turrets slaved to one designator. You can also slave the vanilla turrets to a designator. And I don't know exactly how you do that, but you definitely can. So that's my part of the tutorial. I think I've covered everything. Um, we've done 
slaving with big grid, slaving with small grid. Oh yes, something else you can do. Um, mind spawning me in a ship to shoot at, did he? Preferably one that doesn't have any turrets on it. Does this not have any turrets on it? Um, this has no turrets on as far as I'm aware. Well, none left. It's got one. Now it's not. Right, give it to um, give it to Smats, which is the in-game faction that is enemies to everybody. In theory, both rotor turrets should fire. The ones with the designators should shoot at this because it is spat. Yep, look. As soon as it went to spat, the rotor turrets have started shooting at it. And before you know it, the ship is dead. That missile one is quite effective. Yeah, it also just shot its own designator. That is something you have to worry, worry about. Don't put the designators anywhere near the rotor turrets, otherwise they will shoot it. That's going to be the end of my segment. We are now moving over to Diddy's segment, so hit it, Diddy. Hello, and welcome to my section of this tutorial on rotor turrets. In this section, I, Diddy, will be showing you how to build turrets without any of that script stuff, because I don't understand that, and I'm sure quite a few people won't either. So this is how you build it with a gyroscope. Now I'm just going to show you how they control. Quite clunky. Um, I move my mouse very little here. Um, you can set it up so that it's smoother, but I I didn't quite have enough time to set that up. This particular one has one rocket launcher and two gap guns. Now the gap guns are a bit smaller grids are quite effective, so is the rocket launcher. Big grids against like small grids against big grids is not as effective. Let's try and down this. Now, as you can see, I'm having trouble with the up and down axis. So, what I do is I go on here, we're using Build Vision on this tutorial because it's so much easier, but you go into the control panel, find the rotor, in this case it's rotor 2, and turn the torque down a bit. In this case, it's going down to 10 minutes, whatever that is. And it's now a lot easier to control up and down. So, if you're building one yourself, you just need to mess with the settings a bit, fine tune it. Shoot this bit. And. Let's just sit down and see if it grabs it. It is important when you're building a road turret that you try and get the centre of gravity for this pivot here, so the one with the actual weapons on as close to this rotor as you can. This is a pretty bad one, because as you can see, the centre of mass is actually in between these two blocks. But if I put the block there, and then the mass will actually be Now, if you want to actually make it tilt backwards a lot, this artificial mass is extremely good at doing that. As you can see, that has gone basically in the middle which is exactly what we want, and this will probably handle a lot better on the up and down. Yep, it's a lot smoother now, and that is just because the centre of mass is in the middle. Now, I'm going to show you how to build one, not necessarily this design, but uh, first you want to start with just a platform, so... Here is said platform. You want to place down just the normal rotor uh, orientation. Ah, there we go. Now, depending on what grid you're doing, I'm just going to show you how to do small grid. You want to destroy the rotor on the top. And go into the control panel and add a small rotor head. Now this is what is actually going to be built from. So most of the time you want to place down one one small grid block. Then a rotor. Now, in this case, I'm going to go for a compact turret, a singular Gatling gun. So 
I want to put a remote from there. Probably a block and a gyroscope. Now the Gatling gun is going to And of course, I have not been prepared, but now that it's had to go, uh, just ignore that. We don't know what's up with the knife, it's behaving with it. So then, Gatling gun there, and this thing which is. And this is basically the symbols of a roaster. Can you put it down for a look at the ease of use? I'm going to put the camera. I'm placing the cameras on small bricks. The camera has to be deep, so that will be the right way around. Obviously, you're going to need a cockpit. Now, I find on something this big, on something this big, I find talk on this needs to be about uh, 10 kilonewtons, I think is what that is. And the top bottom can probably be around 10 as well. Now, depending on what type you're doing, you can mess with this displacement, uh, with the displacement and uh, adjust it. To this. Obviously, this one won't go down further than this because it messes with that rotor, so I'm going to see this down this one the way. This one can also go out the way. Now, this is basically set up now. Obviously, we're going to use that. You want to go into your cockpit, control that, the remote control, click on that. And then block weapons, select your weapon, so in this case it's just a gambling gun. And also drag a camera in there, cockpit view. Now we can view this. And it doesn't work, probably because I've got a gyroscope in the camera. Now to fix that, um, we are going to turn the talk down a bit. Okay, this is all the way. And as you can see, it now turns here. Up and down is not working. Again, I'm going to drive some of the power. So we'll just put the gyroscope on the side. It probably won't look as good, but hopefully it's not working. Um, Okay, now I actually don't know why this is working. Oh, I still have to look at this. Okay, so this, that, that rotor needs to be a lot less torque. Uh, that would be. Uh, let's just see. You can also do it in here. That is much better, as you can see. Now this one's a bit hard to control, but the heavy turrets are a lot easier to build. Just want to keep adjusting this until it actually stays right. This one will be to open my mouse to qualify the adjustments. The, as you can see, I'm not touching my mouse, and it works. This is going up and down, it's staying there. I tune this a lot more. small grid road turret without any scripts or anything. Really simple, obviously you can decorate it a lot more and um, you can use the same, exactly the same principles on large grids, just make sure you keep the centre of mass there and if it's not working turn the torque down, it's still not working, make sure you've got power. If it's still not working after that build another one um, or add more gyroscopes. Usually if it's not working after a while, I usually scrap that design and build another one because sometimes space engineers will convert a road to head to a static grid or something and it won't work. Anyway, that is the end of my part.